So it seems a little confusing. We have average velocity, instantaneous velocity, average speed. We have all these things just for the simple idea of motion. So what I like to do is take them and sort of put them all on a chart. Let's, let's do a chart and see what we come up with. We're actually going to discover there's a fourth one. So I like to draw the chart kind of like this. Let me see. And I'm going to draw something like this and something like this. And I'm going to write um, velocity here, velo. And I'm going to write speed here. And then I'm going to write average here and instantaneous here. So first, let's just remind ourselves what they are, right? The average velocity, that's what we called V, A, V, G, and it was the displacement over some time interval. We got that done. And then we took, we said, oh, let's let delta T be really small. And then we said that was the velocity, the instantaneous velocity, no subscript, but a vector symbol. And that was dx, where position, of course, is a vector dt. We turned it into a derivative just by making delta T small. And then we said there's this thing, the average speed, right? And we put the AVG, because it's average, but no vector symbol, because it's not a vector. It's just the distance traveled over delta t. So you could look at these and say, OK, then what about the instantaneous speed? What does that really mean? Mm. Let's draw a couple of xt plots here. So here's time. Here is x. We got a ball that's moving. Right? So you could say, well, let's see, instantaneous speed, what must that mean? It's like the slope, but it can't be a vector. I mean, it must be a v. My beautiful cursive v's. No vector. But what's it equal to? It's kind of like the slope, but it doesn't care about the direction. Right? So it's clearly the slope. What if we thought about it going up and we thought about it going down? What if we thought about a ball rolling both ways? Right? So this is rolling to the right in a HAL demo, and this is rolling to the left in a HAL demo. The difference in v would be the sign. Right? So here v would be, say, let's just estimate that it was uh, 3 meters per second. I'll put i hat, positive direction. And here, let's say the instantaneous velocity would be minus 3 meters per second, I hat. But what the speed would say is it's just three, because speed doesn't care about the direction. Right? All speed cares about is how fast it's going. So speed would be similar. The instantaneous speed would also be sort of the value right at a point, but it wouldn't care about the sign. So the way we write that in physics is we just say, we take the vector, and we just say, take what we call the magnitude to put these two bars on it. And that's the magnitude of the speed. So this is 3 meters per second or minus 3 meters per second. When you put these on it, it's just 3. It's how long the vector is, not which way the vector is pointing. So this really is the, is the notation. So we rarely really talk about the instantaneous speed. Or well, we do, but we don't usually write it like this. A lot of times we would just say v, right? Instantaneous, no vector. But formally, I want to write it like this. It's a vector, but it's just the magnitude of the vector. So if you can have all these down, you'll be in good shape, because we'll use them all later. And now to help think about them, let's think about sort of like their relationships. Right? When can you say they're equal? Are any of them ever equal? Let's see if we can go this way and make them equal. Right? When are they equal this way? Well, let's uh, do a little wiggly arrow out here and say when they're equal that way. When are they equal going down? When um, they're equal going down, for uniform motion, or when uh, delta t is very small, right? So if you have your average velocity over, uh, if, if things more moving uniformly, we talked about how your average velocity between this interval and your instantaneous velocity at any time is the same, even if it's curved a little bit. If you look at a small enough interval, you're going to get the same average and instantaneous velocity. And the same thing for speed. Right? In that case, it's not really any different. Okay? So uniform motion, these are indistinguishable. If things are changing their, their speed, then, then, it, then it changes. What if we try to go this way? What if we were to say, are these equal? What does the answer for that? And that's really a 
question, what do you mean by equal? Really, that's getting to this whole vector versus uh, scalar question. Does it have a direction or not? Right? So basically here, you would say, yes, they are equal, um, that uh, v is the magnitude of v. Right? So they're equal in that sense. They have the same magnitude. This one is kind of interesting. If you go on a path, delta t, will the average velocity and the average speed be the same? Well, they could be, but they don't have to be. The way we would write it mathematically would be like this. Let's think about it for a second. Say we have one of the crazy paths, t, x, and it does something like that. Remember that? Where you have t uh, initial and t final. The speed was bigger than the average velocity because the speed considered the whole trip. The average velocity just considered the short negative path displacement from here to here. So the speed was bigger. But the speed won't always be bigger. If you have a uniform motion and you look between here and here, they'll be the same. So the way you could say it is that the average velocity, v average, will always be greater than or equal to the magnitude of the average velocity. So I'm sorry, the average speed will always be greater than or equal to the magnitude of the average velocity. Right? If it's a curvy path, the speed will be bigger because it went farther in terms of distance. If it's a linear path, then they both went the same distance and displacement, and they'll be equal, so greater than or equal. So this isn't super necessary to solve problems, but it does help you kind of get the big picture in your head of the differences of these things. At least in my head. It may not help you at all. I don't know.